Okay guys, today I am uh, with another chapter from economic survey. The chapter is fiscal framework. There are different key terms in the chapter. Okay, uh, the key terms are what is fiscal consolidation. Okay, for example, they are, uh, your father is a general serviceman. Okay, uh, and your mother is housewife. There is two, uh, two child uh, in your house. One is you and another is your sister. Okay. Uh, then you see, you need actually, uh, you visit the Domino's Pizza, Domino's Pizza two days every week with your girlfriend, okay, and you visit at least two days, okay, uh, Saturday and Sunday uh, to any uh, multiplex cinema hall with your girlfriend, okay, and uh, there is a sister, she is also doing a study in college, okay, uh, and she actually spends 3000 uh, rupees of money after every 15 days while uh, straightening her hair okay so straightening straighten her hair in beauty parlor after every 5 days and in this we see a uh, spent 3000 okay uh, after every 5 days okay and there is a expenses of your uh, general expenditure for your family okay the thing is that that uh, the government will not increase the salary of your father thinking that uh, he has uh, two sons one is uh, extravagant uh, who's who has no uh, mind attention in his study and while he go to college he spends most of time with her with his girlfriend standing uh, spending money and um, government uh, the also do, uh, don't know that uh, your father has a, a daughter and who is also extra stylist uh, we can say that post uh, she follows postmodern fashion. Okay, government will, will not increase the salary of your father thinking all these things. The salary of your father will be always stable and the same. Okay, but expenses of your fa uh, family will be always increased due to the very kalan uh, due to the very uh, uh, due to his uh, very uh, daughter and sister who always think kalan who always thinking kalan of his of their parents. Okay, now the thing is that what is fiscal consolidation in this way uh, if this uh, if this uh, condition continues then one day what will happen god knows okay that is why uh, there must be something okay that is why there must be rule and regulation to control these things okay that's why uh, your father informed your mother about these things all these irregularities okay that's why your mother will now impose uh, strict rules uh, okay and these strict rules are in economic terms or in uh, uh, technical terms so we can say that these are fiscal consolidation fiscal consolidation means the ways and measures throughout who is the expenditure of government can be reduced Okay, expenditure of the government are reduced and turned into a profitable direction. Okay, it is called fiscal consolidation. Now, what will happen? The mother will say that you will uh, impose some rules. Okay, they will lessen your pocket money. Will strictly says that uh, you have to come back to your home uh, uh, before uh, 4 p.m. Okay, in this way, now they are, they are, your mother will impose some rules and regulations to decrease the unwanted expenditure of your family. That is why this is called fiscal consolidation the whole process is called fiscal consolidation okay now the thing is that another thing is that the rule and regulation okay your mother has written all the rule and regulations in a a4 size paper and just paste it in uh, uh, um, uh, in uh, in the walls of your bedroom okay in the walls of your bedroom okay now this a4 size uh, this a4 size uh, notice uh, uh, issued by your mother is called fiscal responsibility and budget management act fiscal responsibility and budget management act minded Fiscal Responsibility and Budget Management Act provides a legal institutional framework for fiscal consolidation. Okay, means the uh, ways and measures. Okay, uh, the whatever your mother says that you have not to do this thing, you have to return your home. Okay, these are fiscal consolidation method. Okay, now the f if, uh, the when your mother uh, uh, write those rules in a pay for size paper and paste it in the wall, it is fiscal responsibility and budget management act. That is your mother. Uh, 
signed it and uh, uh, put her official stamp here that says that it is your legal duty okay now onwards it is your legal duty and any violation of this legal duty will invite what invite the pros uh, other procedure okay it is your responsibility okay now to follow these rules okay in this way Government did fiscal consolidation and to enact the uh, see until and unless in India whatever happened until and unless in India uh, something is enacted through law people always disobey even after something becoming law also people disobey okay that's why government what did the government do government uh, put all those regulations or methods of fiscal consolidation put them in a book and it is uh, enact, uh, uh, introduced in parliament parliament while eating chai pasta chamusa eating all these things they uh, uh, support give their vote and now pass the bill and now it is called fiscal responsibility and budget management day in your prelims exam it might come and uh, question might come that fiscal uh, responsibility and budget management act provides legal institutional framework uh, that the responsibility under fiscal responsibility and budget management uh, are legal or uh, not legal it these are legal okay it is a binding on the government okay fiscal responsibility and budget management act provides a legal institutional framework for fiscal consolidation okay it is uh, mandatory for central government to take measures to reduce fiscal deficit to eliminate revenue deficit and to generate revenue surplus okay and it is not only compulsory to present government but whatever future government will come all have to follow this frbm act it also ensures inter-government generational equity in fiscal management long-run macroeconomic stability coordination between fiscal and monetary policy and it also tries to throw transparency and fiscal cooperation act now clear fiscal responsibility of fiscal consolidation and frbma yeah. i hope it is clear now okay now comes another term what is debt dynamic wage chapter 3 in economic survey mentions a term debt debt dynamic wage w e d z e what is debt dynamic wage debt dynamic wage means uh, it is a reduce uh, in the uh, reduce in quantity of uh, the uh, debt of government uh, to GDP okay reduced ratio of uh, uh, debt government debt to GDP okay government uh, the total GDP uh, the ratio of government debt is decreased to the total GDP of the country okay what is debt dynamic wage debt dynamic wage means the reduced amount of government debt to the total GDP of our country okay then another some terms is revenue deficit revenue deficit means the uh, excess of revenue expenditure in comparison to revenue receipt okay fiscal deficit fiscal deficit means total expenditure of the government minus revenue deficit plus non debt capital received these all the things will come under the syllabus of economy prelims okay total expenditure fiscal deficit means total expenditure of the government minus revenue received plus non debt capital received okay uh, then another uh, economic term used by the economic survey in chapter 3 is fiscal space what is fiscal space it refers to the flexibility of government in its spending choices in its spending choices and more generally to the financial well-being of a government what is fiscal space fiscal space, space means that before there are some the government will uh, uh, government will observe some frugality frugality means government will uh, uh, give you some space in expenditure means government will uh, be careful is spending money okay thinking about the thinking about the well-being of government okay th for the increase of revenue okay for fiscal consolidation now onwards government will be careful in spending expenditure uh, spending money or in uh, expenditure okay it is called fiscal space okay it is called fiscal uh, space okay uh, now another thing is that uh, uh, economic survey has mentioned lehman crisis 
L E H M A N Lehman Crisis. It is an investment bank. It, it was an investment bank in USA. Okay. Uh, uh, it was bankrupt in 2008. Okay. It is called Lehman Crisis. It was a. It it, it is uh, to call that. It was the great uh, yeah, financial crisis after. Uh, we have come to know that what is Fiscal Responsibility and Budget Management Act and we saw that Fiscal Responsibility and Budget Management Act imposes a legal liability of the government to maintain fiscal consolidation. And uh, one thing is that this Fiscal Responsibility and Budget Management Act enacted in 2003 made it compulsory for the government that the government in at no rate can uh, increase the fiscal deficit more uh, increase the fiscal deficit then 3% to total GDP. Okay, that means that that it established a principle that a government has to maintain fiscal deficit uh, uh, within 3% of GDP. Government cannot increase the fiscal deficit more than 3% to total GDP at any rate. Okay, now the thing is that the economic survey chapter 3 says that the government has been able to maintain uh, this uh, uh, criteria of FRBM, uh, uh, FRBM Act. Okay, then why this becomes possible? Then uh, Chapter 3 actually enunciates some reasons and some uh, 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 explanations. Okay, the first thi um, thing is that the government has to, uh, it has been able, uh, our government has to borrow only for capital formation. Okay. Then uh, in case of public borrowing, in case government uh, has to borrow money only, government, no that government can borrow money, okay, but government has borrowed only, but it must has to be used for capital formation. Capital formation means it must create some kind of infrastructure so that it can contribute to the revenue earning of the country. Okay, the second thing is that government has to ex uh, government has to uh, control in expenditure okay for uh, uh, government uh -huh. has to control expenditure okay for uh, reducing fiscal deficit and revenue deficit okay the government must have to maintain uh, frugality in case of expanding okay what does it mean that one causes is that government must have to rationalize the subsidy subsidy is a much more expenditure in India in case of uh, a, a, as a uh, um, unnecessary in some cases it, it is called it as an unnecessary expenditure that government must have to maintain a frugality in expenditure control that means government must have to rationalize subsidy only then government will be able to reduce fiscal deficit and revenue deficit. Number three, government must have to uh, turn expenditure from consumption to expenditure to investment. Okay, that means whatever uh, government will spend. Okay, it must be spent in such a way that it, it, it becomes one kind of investment and it will in future or present will anyway contribute to the growth of the country. Okay. For example, you see MN Raga Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme. Government is spending much more money every day. Okay, then in terms of MN Raga, uh, what, what the people are doing? Uh, people are doing nothing okay uh, they work, uh, came out uh, for two hours uh, um, every day for work okay uh, in the name of work they have uh, they have not done anything okay they are spending time okay they have they are spending making tea party okay in village area okay women are coming together okay in the name of work they gather together they have uh, uh, discussed about the family affairs about hindi serial okay uh, in case in uh, in, uh instead of working under MN Rega. Okay, the, if these kinds of Sajbohu episodes, uh, discuss, Sajbohu episode uh, discussions are going on uh, in terms of MN Rega, then will it be investment? No. But what will happen? Government is spending money for MN Rega. Okay, but what it will loss, make loss to the government. Okay, that's why it, M, M, MN Rega, the works, uh, MN Rega, spent of MN Rega should be such a way that it will create investment. Okay, for example, MN Rega, uh, people under MN Rega must have to build road. Okay, if a, a good road is built, okay, then it will create investment, it will create communication. Okay, uh, it will be, uh, it might be used for uh, transporting 
a food good okay it will in this way it will create infrastructure okay that is why what we have to seen that till now that borrowing is only for capital formation okay when government will borrow this borrowing has to be used for capital formation okay government must have to be uh, uh, pro maintain frugality in expenditure control okay and government must have to turn expenditure from consumption to investment okay uh, then another thing is that uh, uh, we have seen the government has been able to maintain uh, the this three percent criteria due to reduced fiscal deficit, reduced expenditure uh, reduction, increase in tax GDP ratio means the co uh, contribution of tax has been increased to total GDP. Okay, improvement in debt dynamic wage I have already discussed what about what is debt dynamic wage. Okay, debt dynamic wage means the reduced quantity of government borrowing to uh, uh, reduce quantity of government borrowing to GDP. Reduce quantity of government borrowing means government is dependent. Okay, even to fulfill uh, the uh, financial need, government has not borrowed. That means our condition is going day by day strong. Okay, then another thing is that. Uh, uh, another thing is that uh, uh, the economic service sector 3 mentions that uh, it, uh, finance commission recommended 62 percent of total tax revenue to the state instead of 55 percent like before. The finance commission has increased the, uh, this uh, financial uh, co uh, the, uh, finance uh, contribution of finance to state from center okay and it will actually create decentralization uh, decentralization in uh, financial uh, finance area okay the state will ma uh, gain much more money now state will find much more financial resource to contribute to the welfare of society or to contribute uh, uh, for the investment uh, to contribute for investment in the state to contribute for infrastructure in the state okay these are the different things that uh, economic service chapter 3 has mentioned that government has to follow to maintain the criteria uh, of 3 percent uh, to GDP okay as a fiscal deficit okay uh, I am repeating that again borrowing is only for capital formation expenditure control frugality and expenditure control expenditure uh, um, from consumption to investment these are the three basic criteria that the government has to maintain to uh, stick to the criteria of 3% fiscal deficit to GDP as uh, uh, enunciated under FRBM Act okay now the thing is that the sector also mentions that there are some uh, and another thing I forgot to uh, I forgot to mention that uh, if the uh, goods and service tax GST will be implemented then it will also increase to the tax revenue of the government okay it is also one of the reason okay four reason there are four reason borrowing is only for capital formation and frugality in expenditure control expenditure from consumption to investment and for the uh, uh, effective implementation of GST this four criteria will be uh, will make government able to stick to three percent uh, um, 3% of uh, fiscal deficit to GDP and another thing is that the sector mentions actually to doubt uh, that whether the government will be able to uh, stick to this criteria or not the thing is that now the government uh, under the 14th finance commission the tax uh, under the 14th finance commission now 62 percent total tax revenue will be uh, switch uh, will be gone uh, to stage uh, before it was 52 percent it means that now center will find much less money than before then another thing is that if goods and service tax has tax has to be implemented then government will have to what have uh, what have to government to the central government will uh, compensate the state okay for their losses okay the state will uh, lo uh, lose the um, lose their response uh power to impose taxes uh, impose sales tax and as a result of the central government will have to compensate this as a result of the center will uh, be much m less money than before these are a trade to doubts that the sector has explained okay now i hope this explanation will help you a uh, uh, help you a lot and the question might arise that what are the measures that government has to be uh, 
taken uh, to reduce fiscal deficit. Okay, the, or what are the criteria that government has to follow to stick to the 3% uh, criteria of fiscal deficit to total GDP. Okay, in this way, um, I, uh, um, different, uh, two, uh, two, three questions might arise from this chapter. Okay, hope you are uh, helped a lot. I will uh, come again with another chapter from economy survey. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.